Welcome back everybody to Brotato. We did not fare too well on the last run, losing on wave 18, but I think if we choose a different character than the soldier, we may have a better chance. So what's going on here? 100 plus range with precise weapons and attack speed 25%. You start with one knife. We can play as the crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to. Well, can I go back? There we go. We'll just go double knife, I think. Even though Shuriken's pretty good. Let's try double knife. Let's try crazy man. We can actually finally move while shooting now. In the last video, if you missed that one, um, the only way to shoot your gun was to be standing still, which led to a lot of uh, very tight situations. I think, though, regardless, even if we were playing as any other character, by that point in the run, we would have won, but it still would have been fairly difficult there. We'll go for the, the damage off the bat, uh, and we'll just keep stocking up knives, I guess, sure. Uh, we're going to try to only go for precise stuff to make this character uh, truly function as a unique person that's not just well-rounded, but with a, uh, a different item set. But regardless of that, my cat recently got spayed, and we might be coming to the end of the Zimmy terrorizes me during every video saga. Uh, I'm not going to say definitively yet, because to be honest, she's still being a bit of a rascal, even with this big cone around her neck. Um, but I, I think we're coming to a, a close. I, I think that you're not precise, but you are a knife, you're blade. But you guys, weirdly enough, aren't blade. So I'm going to not take that. Another knife, dude? Sure, man. We can go for more knives. I don't care. You know what, dude? Hey, man. Another knife. What about what about one more? Can you imagine? No. I, I will just keep going. We have, we have five separate knives right now. And they're all going to have a big range buff to them and a crit chance as well. So this is really good for us, I think. But you guys all know that Zimmy's had a habit in the past of attacking beauty or you know jumping on my green screen or clawing my leg while i'm recording and you know biting our feet or like scratching our toes at night and making it just being kind of a nuisance right uh and we read online that getting cat spade you know helps their aggression tone down and things along that line so we thought naively to ourselves that if we got her we'll go for dodge here another knife they meant six knives you can't go wrong we can actually um combine and then buy even more stuff look that's precise right there let's lock that in and then we'll go fight right now and to be honest she has been a, a bit less aggressive and honestly a bit more friendly she will now sleep in the bed without trying to like attack us all night right in between me and desi or in between like desi's legs she'll just sleep there all night and it's beautiful but uh she's been kind of getting back on her I'm gonna bite these guys train or I'm gonna like, you know, chase beauty around a little bit, which is bad for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously, you know, chasing beauty around and scaring her is not a good thing. But the other thing is, Zimmy is like fresh off the surgery still. Too much running, too much jumping um, could potentially loosen up her stitches, which would really, really not be good. More damage, sure. Um, we'll go for speed here, I guess. And then we can combine um, and buy scissors. And this is precise as well, so why don't we combine again and buy that? We'll do a reroll here. A, a shuriken, okay. You know what, dude? Combine um, and buy. This also seems like really good, so I'll lock that in and we'll just keep going here. So we're trying to figure out a way to like, how do we keep this cat calm? Because she has to have the cone on for, for two weeks, which is awful because the cone makes this really loud noise whenever she walks around. It's got one of those, like, uh, what would you call it? It's like a snap lock, where it's like a big circle, snaps into a smaller circle, and, and that's what makes the cone lock. And running around makes that jiggle, and it just sounds like a bunch of coins everywhere. Uh, it's loud at night, it's loud during the day, it's loud at pretty much every hour of my existence, and... I, it's gonna be rough. We're gonna probably just end up taking her cone off within like 10 days and not waiting the full two weeks just because that's a lot and she hates the cone. Um, she repeatedly always tries to like get it off of herself, um, which is obviously a very bad thing. So we're thinking of taking it off after 10 days because like it, it's only to stop her from like licking or biting her wound from the surgery, which would be bad, but... I don't think she'll do it anyways, um, 
we considered getting her like the medical body suit so it covers up the wound but uh they're like 40 bucks and we've already spent so much money on these cats in the last like 10 days that don't really have any extra money to spare for the cat side of things between surgery buying the cones we had to pay for the cone from the the vet office as well um you know, getting extra treats, food, litter, the usual stuff. Uh, the cat funds are, are running out right now for this month, so can't get her the body suit. It's just because she has to deal with it. You know what? We have to deal with her running around at night and, and making our lives harder. She can deal with her life being a bit harder as well. Uh, we could do this, but I have a feeling we might die, but I'm going to do it anyways. That's precise, but we can't combine anything right now. Uh, I think we're fine without that. What I want to do is get things like this. Crit chance, elemental damage, I don't really care. Uh, 8 plus max HP, we can lock that in. I like having some max HP. I just don't want to die. So I got to focus here. And find trees, if trees want to ever spawn. Or just get life still back all the way up to full. Either one is fine, really, game. But I'd prefer to get trees for bigger, immediate heals. But looks like no trees are spawning right now. And we are getting a bit swore. Oh, there's some trees. We already have full HP from life, so don't even worry about it. We're fine. Uh, item is scary. I, I haven't died with it yet. But uh, we have had some very close calls. Like, I think it was the... Uh, it might have been our, our winning uh, run as the, the general... No, it was a... Who was the other character we won as? I... Oh, Multitasker. I think with Multitasker, we lived at 1 HP for the entire way. We didn't have, like, any lifesteal to our name, which that was pretty fun. Level up here, right? We already got it? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we'll definitely go for more damage. Spear is primitive, not precise. This is precise. Okay. Um, recycle that. And buy Shuriken 1. Knife 2? Because now we can make a knife 3 if we get real lucky here. This is pretty good. We, we can lock this in too. We need some more just raw items. We only really have like... We have good weapons, but we only have good weapons and that's it. We're going to need some items to help balance that out in the future here as well. But Zimmy has been better. She's been, you know, more affectionate. Definitely more tame for sure. Uh, we don't know if that's just her having the cone and she really can't, like, jump anywhere. She still found a way to with the cone on her head. Which, by the way, the cone is meant for a small dog and she's a small cat, so it's pretty big on her. She's still jumping on top of counters, like, she's still a very agile cat, but, uh, we don't know if her being calmer and affectionate is due to the cone being on or if it's due to her surgery. Either way, it's nice to have this kind of week where she's a, a lot easier to deal with, but once that cone comes off, we are desperately hoping she's a bit nicer to Beauty because uh, that was kind of the big thing was we can deal like me and Desi with her being rowdy. I just don't like the idea of Beauty being like constantly on edge from having another kitty in the house. Sure, we can take a book. Uh, no, do not want that. No defense, so we just go for damage. Whew. Okay, yeah, dude. Um, definitely want to buy this. Precise weapon. This is really good. This is really good for us. That was that. Those are some great items to find right there. We're either looking for another Shuriken two or um, anything else precise that we can then use our uh, knives to get like knife four, just to combine them and still have like six precise weapons available to us. So our crit chance right now it's off the rail. We're doing double damage consistently. It looks like right now, which I am you know ecstatic about, but. I would like to get, as I say with every video, just more armor to keep ourselves from dying super quickly. And that's going to come from just getting a bunch of the green and leveling up as much as we can every single wave. But if Zimmy doesn't get any better, I mean, what can we do at this point? She just has to, she's a kitty. They're always going to be like super active and, and a little bit hostile. All we can do is wait for the grow up to happen, for her to become a full-fledged adult um, and no longer just be like a tiny little idiot child. But imagine it from like Beauty's perspective. Like you're like a, in like human years, like a 40 to 50 year old lady. 
What? I mean, she, yeah, she's a bit younger. She's probably like 30. 30 to 40, we'll say. Hey, that's Dodge right there. Sure. Whew. Um, I don't really have anything ranged going on right now. I'll take the regen, though. Yeah. Okay, another precise weapon. Just to combine that, I'll buy Lightning Shiv. And then immediately... Uh, oh, I already have one. Combine. Buy that. And then... Combine. And buy. And these are all precise, right? Precise, 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 precise. Yeah, okay. I'd say our run's going, like, pretty well. We're only on wave 10. It feels like we're going kind of slow, but I still think things are going quite well for us. But imagine you're, like, a 30 to 40-year-old lady. You're just trying to live it, like, in peace at your house, and every, like, half an hour, this, like, five-year-old kid jumps at you, bites you, and scratches you. You know how pissed off I would be? My, like, quality of living would be down in the goddamn sewers. But here's the good thing, though. Because I think Beauty knows that Zimmy is going to be a bit less hot. She has some kind of, like, sense for this, right? Because all cats can, you know, sense behavior, sense, like, stress or whatever. They have some weird, like, way they can sense if you're stressed or whatever, right? I've, I've heard that my entire life. It may not be true, but I believe it still. <laughs> uh, Beauty's been back in the bedroom sleeping with us at night, which is what I've always wanted because I miss when she was in the bed just cuddled up and, and sleeping. Uh, even when Zimmy jumps up there, as long as she doesn't go like too close to her, Beauty will stay there. She'll stay on the bed and sleep all night. If Zimmy walks too close and her, you know, cone rattles, then it gets a bit iffy. But most of the time, it's, it's still pretty good. Okay, barricade we don't care for. Uh, damage is already really high, and I don't really care for like 7% right now, sue me. Uh, medical, but not precise. I'll do this. That's another precise weapon. So we can actually combine, uh, buy this, and then lock in metal, and then keep going here. I do want to find Shuriken 1 so I can uh, upgrade a Shuriken 3 as soon as I possibly can, but... Uh, we have plenty of waves to wait for that to possibly happen. Just just cool your jets for a minute there, BD1P. Just cool it off. But it, it's been really nice having her be calm these past couple of days. But Zimmy is still a, a force of nature, man. Even on the drowsy medication, uh, she managed to jump on stuff, you know, bite us, try to get her collar off. Like, she wasn't drowsy at all. We, they gave her the stuff at the vet. She was still as active as ever. Like, I don't know if... She's just immune to ever feeling tired or exhausted because she just goes crazy in, in nearly every scenario. But, hey, that's Zimmy for you, man. If, if it's got to be a cat, I'm glad it's mine. It's, it's funny sometimes. But other times when she's jumping off my computer, you know, hiding on the, the fucking ceiling, I, I, I could take it or leave it at that point, honestly. You're going to win. You're going to live this wave. So you can go a little, bit, a little risky, run in here, grab the green. Lovely. I would like a bit more lifesteal for our somewhat melee build here. Sure, why not? Uh, dodge, yes. Obviously you buy metal. Thief Dagger 2. Uh, I'm gonna lock this in for sure though. There's Shuriken 1. Okay. This is locked in for better stuff. As long as we live this wave, we're going to probably get Shuriken 3 and another uh, Tier 2 or Tier 3 weapon in there. If we somehow find Shuriken 3, then we can have Shuriken 4 and be in a really, really good place. We're going to be dealing uh, a lot of damage and gaining a lot of resources here. So I think that as far as the run goes right now, barring any major setbacks through like really bad shops, we have a really good chance at taking this one home all the way to the bank. The, that lightning shiv as well is doing some nice lightning bouncy damage. I had no idea what lightning did for a while, but now I understand. I'm learning things, dude. And I'm still enjoying this game as much as I was a couple days ago. So it feels good to finally have another game where I can just, like, run around and banter and not really think uh, until I'm not 1 HP and trying to be like, Oh god, please don't lose on wave 12 of all things. But I, I am feeling pretty good about this. Oh my god, dude. The, the crazy thing is, too, though, is you really can't see where your improvement comes from. Because right now, like, 
if you were to put me back on wave one, I would still probably, like, find a... I would win wave one runs. I would assume we need more HP regen, man. Uh, our regen right now is three. We gotta be regener regenerating more health, because we are, if you saw right there, um, we're not getting that much lifesteal. Easily you want to buy this. 100% right there. I guess we don't really need range. So yeah, we'll do this. One reroll potentially. Knife three. I'll lock that in. That could be a knife. Is there Are there tier five weapons in this game? I have no idea. Right now we really don't have that much though. Like looking now, our weapons have definitely not scaled well. Uh, we gotta buy knife three. Once we get knife three, we're gonna have a tier four, three, three, and three. I will be fine. After, if we live this wave, we'll be definitely uh, a lot better than we are looking right now. But that crit chance is insane. I think it's like a 75% a chance to crit right now, and which deals double damage because of all of our weapons being so precise. Might just be like a 60% chance. I'm not sure. I gotta look at the numbers in this game again, but... From what I understand so far, I think we're rocking an optimal build for this character. And I'm really happy. Because there's not a lot of precise ranged weapons. If there was like a sniper rifle in the game, I'm sure that would be a precise range. And I think Shuriken is ranged, but it takes from melee. So right now we can really only, if you want to profit on a run like this, uh, really only run melee. You can unlock more guns and stuff as the game goes on, but we are, I don't think, that far enough into the game to be doing stuff like that. You're taking a lot of damage here. Be careful. You know, a couple more frames, you might have been dead there. Three armor. Fantastic. And now what you want to do is you combine these into Shuriken 3, you buy Knife 3, and you reroll. Looking for... You, you can actually buy this now, and you have a Screwdriver 3 as well. Weapons just took a really, really huge upgrade, it looks like. Also, for every single um, weapon, it's a plus 15% crit chance, so... It is still really, really good, because we're, we're throwing out... Shurukens go out so fast, um, the knives stab really fast, and every single attack is an increased chance to do double damage. So we, we are hopefully not going to lose a run, which I perceive to be very, very good. I know I can probably build a crazier thing. I'm still learning the game's mechanic. I could be playing the character all wrong. You may not want to go melee as a character like this. I don't know. I'm still a, a new, you know, baby at this game. If you want to watch a pro, go watch Alexa. Although I will say, I am doing, from what I've seen on, on, on Turtle's channel, a lot better than Turtle has at this game. I don't think he's won even a difficulty zero run yet, which it's hard. I mean, when you're getting your sea legs underneath you here, but I think we're actually rocking. Like, really. Oh, we are in a bad place. Okay. Uh, one hit from death right there. Awesome. Really enjoyed that one. I have to. I need armor, dude. Like, this is just... We cannot be caught in a position like that ever again. We gotta be focusing on the waves more. Go to the go to the clumps, take them out as they spawn, nip it in the bud, do not let anything get the upper hand on you. Leveled up right there, back to our, our you know, old max HP. Our HP isn't even that high, though. Like, this is like a low max HP for wave 15, I feel like. I, I've, I've entered wave 15 with like 80 HP before. So, this is, uh... I'm getting cornered. I'm making mistakes again. How do I find a way out of here without, you know, risking so much damage? Okay, just you gotta walk around in big circles. You just took so much damage. What are you do what are you doing? Look how bad our armor stat is right now, and it's all my fault. Dude, we are just by a razor's edge right now. Max HP, please. 
armor. We can't afford it, though. Screwdriver 3. Okay. Let's lock that in for a screwdriver 4 if we if we live through this wave to get it. What I don't even know what kind of mistakes I'm making with my movement. I can't tell. I'm just, like, I'm so new to the game that even, you know... When I'm getting cornered like that, I really can't tell what I'm doing wrong. I, it's just my movement, I'm pretty sure. I'm just not moving in the right directions. Or the right, like, just... I guess, like, shapes to dodge stuff effectively. I can micro-dodge the bullets pretty easily, I feel like. But anything beyond that, and uh, it's gonna end up being a struggle for me. Now, we're taking out the waves on this wave a lot better than last time. I think around, like, 30 seconds is when things got bad in the last wave, but... This time, I feel like if we're just staying more center and trying to take out the weaker groups that spawn to allow ourselves more room to move around... Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have spoken that fast, but... Uh... Alright. This difficulty is proving to, to really, really be, be taking its toll on me there. What was our stats looking like? Our dodge was just so bad. That was another thing. Our dodge was terrible. We didn't need to have good engineering. The screwdriver, like, it doesn't matter, man. Like, it's just... The landmine dealing more damage is not going to do anything for us. We only spawned one landmine, like, every six seconds. And it, it could spawn anywhere on the map. I wasn't concerned about engineering. Uh, I think it was... My HP wasn't that bad. It was just... Armor wasn't even that bad. It was just the dodge. Like, just not getting hit. It's gonna take some some skill to get past to this uh, difficulty level, but if you're here for the journey, you're here for a while, so I appreciate you watching. If you guys enjoyed, a like and a comment goes a long way for these non-Binding of Isaac series, but hey, I've been BD1P, peace out, and goodbye.